I want to say something about one particular university course, and that is medicine. It's very expensive to train a medical student. Hence, medicine has the highest course fees of all the university courses. Today, after government subsidies, medical school fees are almost $29,000 a year at NUS and $35,000 a year at NTU. And these are not small amounts. We should not let the cost of medical school deter good students from studying medicine. In fact, we want doctors to have diverse educational and family backgrounds. On the education front, the recent medical school intakes have included more poly graduates, and this year we had one IT graduate for the first time in NUS Medical School. But on the social economic front, we should do more to encourage lower income students to do medicine. Therefore, we will enhance government bursaries for medical school to make them significantly more generous than bursaries for other courses. And if you add together the government bursary for medicine plus other bursaries from the university, then lower income students will now pay at most $5,000 per year to study medicine. And this balance can then be covered by student loans with much less difficulty. So if you are a student, you are worried about your finances, but you have an ambition to be a doctor, I say don't worry about the money that will be taken care of. Go for it. All these fee and bursary adjustments I've talked about for both medical and non-medical courses will apply to both existing and new students from the next academic year. The point of these changes to fees and bursaries is not just the dollars and cents. We are determined to make our education system as accessible as possible. We want every Singaporean son and daughter to have the opportunity to receive a good education and start well in life, regardless of family circumstances. Students from less privileged backgrounds must be confident that they will get financial help if they need it to see them through their education. They should neither feel disadvantaged nor inferior comparing themselves to better off classmates, nor should they be deterred from pursuing a course just because of money. This is fundamental to maintaining Singapore as an open meritocracy.